So this is a liver from a pig and today I'm going to make something delicious from it even though it's a liver from a pig. It's uh, called leverpostai and it's kind of like a spread. We use it on bread but you can also use it as a meal of its own. Usually we buy it in the store and then it looks like this. The main ingredient is liver and I had pigs on my own last year and I kept the liver to, to make something from it. Uh, so now I'm going to try and make leverpostai. It looks kind of funny and the consistency is uh, something I've never seen before. It almost looks like something from surf instead of turf. First I'm going to chop it up in smaller pieces. Uh, how small? Who knows? <laughs> it's... Uh, I should probably rinse it off first. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I want to. If you think the audio has been a bit crappy today with the a buzzing humming sound, that's the incubator with the duck eggs in it. They've been in there for a couple of days now and I think it's about day seven. You can put a light underneath uh, the eggs and see if, the, if it's life in there. So that will be in the next video. I'm pretty excited to see if uh, there's something happening in there. In addition to liver pasta, I'm also making some sort of a cake today. Uh, but first we need to chop this liver up. All the recipes that I found uh, had bacon in it, but I'm not spending any bacon in this. Uh, my bacon is, uh, is for bacon alone. But I got a hold of a recipe from 1930, so it's uh, 92 years old. Um, yeah, and it had no bacon in it, so uh, that's what I'm gonna use. So it's some white stuff in between here, and I don't know if I should use it, so I'm choosing not to. I'm thinking that could be chewy to chew on. <laughs> But I know someone who wouldn't mind. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. 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 Ingen som vi har. Kom då. Varsågod. So I'm, I'm kind of second guessing this whole thing when not even the dogs want to eat it. Uh, sh should I? Now I've chopped up the liver and the fat and the onion, but I don't know how big of a chunks it's supposed to be. The recipe is for 500 grams of liver. I have almost three kilos. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do a test run just to see uh, the consistency of it and uh, just to follow the recipe and, and see what happens. So this is clearly not working. It should melt and uh, instead I have a lot of chunks almost like a crispy pig skin kind of feel to it. So the recipe says cut it twice uh, and I've cut it with a knife in smaller pieces, but I called a friend and, uh, and he uses a machine to cut it, cut it twice with the machine. What I'm aiming for is uh, like a pancake batter and uh, this is clearly not it. So uh, into the barn we go. It's not a pleasant smell. Okay, so now, so now we have it. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. 
uh, if the liver just would melt uh, and also the onions. There was just no logic there. <laughs> okay, so now it's leverpostai making take two. Let's just forget that that other stuff happened at all. If I read the recipe right, I'm gonna melt some fat and then add in some flour and milk. And that sounds to me just like a regular bechamel sauce, just white sauce, except with pig's fat or lard or whatever it's called instead of butter. I have to divide, not divide, I have to add, hmm, so 100 grams of flour and 100 grams of flour, that would be 600 grams of flour, that's a lot of, you know what, it's getting late, I'm just gonna do this and we'll see. Okay, so I'm taking over from now because uh, that guy clearly doesn't know what he's uh, doing. And also he's hungry and tired. Uh, the premise of this day is that I'm gonna make this Leverpostai uh, and I'm gonna have some visitors uh, later on the evening and I'm gonna make them a cake. Uh, all this I'm gonna cram into one day uh, making a video about it. The liver has been in the fridge for a couple of days so I don't want to wait anymore. I want to just get it done. And this is the point of the story where uh, the, the famously shit hits the fan. Before we go any further in the video, I just want to just show that uh, I made a cake and, uh, and it went well. So before we continue with the Liverpool style, let's just take one minute with a positive note and, uh, and, and bake a cake. So these are the ingredients I've used. I used a dough hook on the Kenwood for about 15 minutes and, um, and this is what it looked like. Now you're supposed to use uh, room temperature butter to spread out, but if you're like me and don't remember to take it out of the fridge to get the, to the to room temperature uh, and don't have a microwave, uh, it's just uh, one way to do it and that's to get your hands dirty. Okay, so it's not actually a cake, it's uh, cinnamon buns uh, crammed together to look like a cake. But it looks amazing and it tastes even better. But now uh, on to the Leverpostai and it's all downhill from here. So I started with melting the fat but quickly realized I still would have a lot of chunks that would be unpleasant to eat. So I decided to melt all the fat and then strain it. Then I started making the white sauce and when I usually make white sauce, I take a piece of butter, have a little flour in there and smoothen it out with milk. But here I use 600 grams of flour. <sighs> and, <laughs> and, and here's when I start slightly panicking and I reach for the blender to help mix it. I run out of milk pretty fast, so I try to use the rest of the fat. That doesn't do much and there's not enough space in my pot, so I pour it in the baking bowl instead and start to get a bit agitated. Then I try adding in the liver mix and just beat the crap out of it with the blender. The recipe says to use English sauce, which uh, is another word for, for this. Worcester sauce or Worcester sauce. And apparently the hardest part of this bottle is in the pronunciation. I could not get the hat off for a faster pour. But at this point my hands were shaking and, and that did it. I could finally get more than a drop out. And since my brain had stopped working, yeah. I did the only reasonable thing and counted out loud so that I'd remember how to count to six. A six. I added some allspice and clove. Had some troubles opening it though. 
and calculating the amount of sugar. Three teaspoons of one of them. Hehehe. Oh, fuck. I got six of them. Two to three teaspoons of one of them. I threw some uh, potato starch in there and I decided that was it and I forgot two key ingredients. Uh, now it was time to cook it and usually they cook levrvostai in a small container which I didn't have. So I used the containers I usually bake bread in and cut off the top so it wouldn't catch fire in the oven. So I still had some rain that worked. Placed it in a pan with water in it, cooked it at 200 degrees Celsius. The recipe said cook until the top is brown, which took about 50 minutes. Then I cleaned the kitchen and cooked the cake. And I'm glad I did, because at least something went right. It was amazing. I threw the leverpasta in the freezer. I wanted it to harden in that way. I could uh, put portion sized pieces in a vacuum bag without any squeezing into mush. I had guests, we ate the whole cake and then I fell asleep on the couch forgetting all about the Leverpostai in the freezer. So now it's been thawing and it looks like this and it smells like Leverpostai, it looks like Leverpostai and I could definitely fool someone with this but I forgot to put in salt and pepper and a lot of salt and pepper so doesn't taste anything. It's bland and boring and I could definitely not get the kids to eat it and frankly I'm not too keen on it either. I tried to add some salt and pepper while eating it but it just didn't work. It, it tastes boring, liver and English sauce. Uh, it definitely lacks something. Now normally I would say that even though it didn't work I'll at least have made some proper dog food but as we saw they weren't too keen on it either but now it contains uh, about two kilos of fat so maybe they want to eat it now. So have we learned something today? Maybe that I should do more research when trying out new stuff I haven't made before or at least talk to someone who have. Not to plan too much in one day and have guests at the end of it. And eat. I must remember to eat or my brain turns into sh I'm having pigs again this year and I will definitely make Levpostai again. But uh, next time I will nail it. <laughs> Thank you for spending the time with me. I hope you learned something. I surely have. Thank you for watching. See you next time.